Hi there, my name is Sam from Worlds.com and welcome to a new comparison video between the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra and the Huawei Mate 40 Pro. We are comparing both phones in terms of display, performance, camera, design and battery. Stay tuned and find out which phone is in our opinion the better phone. Before going ahead and start this comparison, we would like you to know that we are still doing our giveaway. For more details, watch until the end of this video. If you'd like to see more videos like this, feel free to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Let's start straight away with our review, let the facts speak. Performance Since we are in Europe, this Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra model uses the Samsung Exynos 2100 chip with a new 5 nanometer process technology. There are different versions with different storage capacities available. A 128GB and a 256GB with 12GB RAM and a version with 512GB with 16GB of RAM, which is in use in this comparison. The storage capacity can unfortunately not be expanded anymore. 16GB RAM combined with a brand new Exynos 2100 sounds pretty promising. Next up, the Huawei. The Huawei Mate 40 Pro has 256GB internal storage capacity. It is equipped with its in-house produced HiSilicon Cura 9000 chip and has 8GB RAM. The storage capacity can be expanded with another 256GB. There is also a 128GB and a 512GB version available. But that depends on the country you are in. Samsung's new Exynos 2100 processor versus Huawei's newest processor, the high silicon Kirin 9000. Let's take them into the N22 benchmark test and the Geekbench 5 test to find out who can come out on top in this race. The tests are divided into three phases. A performance test of the RAM, a test of how the device is handling two-dimensional graphics and an endurance test of how the device is handling 3D graphics. The second test is from Geekbench. This app will measure the performance of our smartphones in terms of CPU and GPU. Alright, so the Samsung did pretty well in the Geekbench 5 single core category, while the Huawei scored the winner in both the N22 benchmark and the Geekbench 5's multicore. To be honest, these were really surprising results to us, considering that the Galaxy doubled the Mate 40's RAM. In the end, raw power isn't everything if you can't bring them to the streets. The Huawei takes home the win. Camera the Mate 40 Pro uses a 3 rear camera system, an ultra wide with 20 megapixel, a wide with 50 megapixel and a telephoto camera with 12 megapixel. You can find the ultra wide 30 megapixel front camera in the upper left corner of the screen and a pillbox cutout right next to the 3D depth vision camera. It records 4K videos at a maximum of 60 frames. It also has image stabilization for video. It is a cooperation between the photography specialist from Leica and Huawei's smartphone know-how. Now let's take a look at the S21 Ultra's camera system. The Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra has four main cameras, an ultra wide with 12 megapixel, a wide angle with 108 megapixel and two telephoto cameras with 10 megapixel. The front camera's resolution is 40 megapixel. The Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra records 8K videos at a maximum of 24 frames per second. And of course it has image stabilization for video too. One more thing. Can you hear that? Well, this is a camera system. And this is actually normal. It will stop as soon as you put the phone in camera mode. When we first had the phone in our hands, we thought it was already broken. We had to Google it to find out that this is actually normal. So don't be afraid, it is just normal. Both phones have good camera systems, but which one is actually the better system? Let's take it to our camera test and let's find out which one does a better job. So we started by comparing the daylight pictures, where at first look both seem to satisfy when it comes to sharpness and details, with the Mate 40 seeming slightly brighter. Taking a closer look though, we notice that the S21's picture is a lot sharper, producing better contours even though also being a bit more grainy. The cropped implant in the Huawei could almost be considered as an oil painting. The pictures taken in Nighttime conditions are way brighter on the Mate 40. When cropping in, it is noticeable that the Samsung is creating pure mush. This is due to the low brightness and the higher grain. The Huawei is performing better here than its counterpart. In the case of the front camera, both cameras take equally sharp images. But the Mate 40 is brighter and the Galaxy has more grain. The Mate 40 Pro has a 5-fold optical and a 50-fold digital zoom feature. The Galaxy, on the other hand, has a really good 10-fold optical and a 100-fold digital zoom. 
even though Samsung improved their zoom, in our opinion, it doesn't make sense to zoom in all the way. Still, it is a fun feature to have. Okay, so far so good. Now let's switch from photo feature to the video feature to find out which of these two phones takes better videos. What you can see and hear is the quality of the Huawei Mate 40 Pro video recording. We set it to the highest possible quality. Let's see what the competitor sounds and looks like. What you see and hear is the quality of Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra's video recording. We set it to the highest possible quality. Let's see what the competitor sounds and looks like. In our opinion, the sound quality of the S21 Ultra is better than that of its competitor. The Mate 40 sounds too echoing. The S21 Ultra is capable of recording in 8K, but that would have been too much cropped in. So we decided to do the video comparison on both in 4K. Let's crop in a bit in post to see what that looks like. In terms of video performance, the Mate 40 is just superior to the Galaxy. While the Huawei might be a little too bright, it is considerable stronger in terms of color rendering and definition. As you can see, both look pixelated when cropped in, but the Galaxy is more blurry and grainy. The S21 Ultra is capable of producing slow motion videos with up to 240 frames per second in Full HD mode and super slow motion by digitally enhancing videos taken in 720p from 480 frames per second to 960 frames per second. However, the Mate 40 Pro leads the shot with up to 960 frames per second on Full HD mode and an impressive super slow motion of 3840 frames per second in 720p. Concluding, we have to say that our expectations of the Galaxy's camera system were not met completely. The Mate 40, on the other hand, surprised us. While the Galaxy really outshined the Huawei in terms of daytime photography, which produced convincing results, not only due to its 10-fold optical zoom feature, the Huawei was able to perform better at nighttime. And when it comes to video shooting, there was only one clear winner, the Mate 40. Its video were brighter and sharper and also better in terms of color rendering. Not even mentioning the amazing 3840 frames per second in 720p super slow motion feature. Although you can never really say that one camera is better or worse than the other, because a lot depends on the lightning and environment. Even so, point to the Huawei. Display. The Mate 40 Pro has a 6.76 inch display with a 1344p resolution. It also uses an OLED screen which creates very accurate colors. The 6.76 inch display therefore measures 17.17 cm diagonally with a pixel density of 456 ppi. The Huawei has a 90Hz refresh rate. Looks like an impressive screen. Let's see what the S21 Ultra has to offer. The Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra has a 6.8 inch display with a 1440p resolution. It is fitted with an OLED screen which does a fantastic job. The S21 Ultra measures 17.3 cm diagonally with a pixel density of 515 ppi. The display has an impressive 120Hz refresh rate with a Quad HD resolution and it is also downgrading the rate when it's not in use to reduce power consumption. While both don't differ much when it comes to display size and resolution, the Galaxy S21 Ultra really outshines the Mate 40 in pixel density, refresh rate and with a valuable power saving feature. So it wins this category by a mile. Design. The Galaxy S20 Ultra comes across very sophisticated thanks to its matte finish. The quad camera system is as usual on the upper left corner on the back of the phone, but the bump seems like it is more connected to the front of the phone. It looks like as if the frame is wrapped around the upper left corner of the back. The bump itself really sticks out of the phone again, which makes that corner really thick. The smartphone weighs 227 gram. It is roughly 16.5 cm long, 7.56 cm wide and 0.89 cm deep. It has a USB-C connector and thanks to an IP68 rating it is also water and dust resistant. The S20 uses face recognition technology and a fingerprint scanner which is built into the screen to unlock the phone. Samsung improved the fingerprint scanner by making it 1.77 times bigger and 2 times faster. The Galaxy looks clean but we are no fan of the big camera bump. Let's move on to the Mate 40 Pro. The Huawei Mate 40 Pro has a clean design with a matte finish. The three camera system is well positioned in a ring on the upper center on the back of the phone. Like most phones, the camera bump is pretty big. But since it is more centered, it tends to wobble less when it lays on a flat surface. The smartphone weighs 212 gram. It is roughly 16.29 cm long, 7.55 cm wide and 0.91 cm deep. It has a USB-C connector and thanks to an IP68 rating it is water and dust resistant. The Mate 40 Pro uses a fingerprint scanner which is built into the screen and face recognition technology to unlock the phone. Both technologies work great. Both of the versions we compare in this video have the rainbow shine metal look. 
that we actually really like. The S21 Ultra has a typical clean and robust design of the Galaxy series and looks very convincing from the front. We also like that the screen isn't as curved anymore, but once you tilt it or place it on a straight surface, the huge camera bump catches the eye, which makes the phone ridiculously thick and puts a big minus on the back design. Looking at the Mate 40 Pro, we definitely like the new and interesting approach with the camera system, which can arouse memories of the old iPod. But we didn't like the way too big front camera notch. So both have their flaws and strength. But you have to admit both phones look very high quality and feel like the premium products they aspire to be. We decided on counting it as a draw. Battery. The Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra when fully charged has 5000 mAh. On the other hand, the Mate 40 Pro when fully charged has 4400 mAh. The Galaxy should last longer due to its bigger battery. Let's find out if that's really true. The differences in technology and battery were very slim. And in the end, the Huawei lasted with 3 minutes only slightly longer. As you can see here in the battery drain test from Technic. If you want to see the full battery drain test, check out his video. But that is why we decided to call it a draw again. As always though, it always depends on the way you use your phone or the settings you use it in. Both phones get through a full day of normal usage. Conclusion before we start the conclusion, let's talk about our giveaway. As we are still a small channel, but we experienced in our opinion a great growth over the last couple months with tons of support from you guys, we really wanted to thank you for that. Therefore, we decided to give you the chance to win these Sony headphones. To take part in this giveaway, click on the link in the description of this video. But before you do that, write a comment and tell us why you think you deserve to get these headphones. And be sure to follow us on Instagram. If you'd like to have more giveaways like that, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel. Now, let's finally find out who the winner is in this video comparison. Let us count the points. Finally, let's see which phones got the most points and takes the win. The first category went to the Galaxy S21 Ultra due to a high pixel density and the 120Hz refresh rate. Even though the S21 has more raw power, the Huawei gets a point. It outperformed the Samsung in two out of three benchmark categories. The third point again goes to the Mate 40 Pro because even though the Samsung was able to produce amazing pictures at night, the Huawei convinced with even better nighttime pictures and way stronger video performance. Design is and will always be a question of taste. And since both phones are very high quality and had their strong features, both got a point. Same goes to the concluding category, the battery, which was so close that both deserved a point. The close winner in this comparison therefore is the Huawei Mate 40 Pro. With 4 to 3 points it really was a close race and the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra doesn't have to be ashamed of itself. Naturally, we review more than these five categories covered here. If you want to see the full comparison, follow the link to our website. You can compare up to seven different smartphones at versus.com. But before you do that, please post your comments and let us know which phone you think ranks first. If you liked our video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Till then, take care and see you soon.